Hello, what's up, guys? It's Dazzle Mustache, and today I'm gonna show you guys the Ogre Twink build. It's finally ready. Now, first of all, if you're going to create this build, make sure you read the step by step guide in the comment section. Also, any information not covered through the video can be found there. Now, basically, this build was created to use the large club to potentially one shot players through critical hits. That's backstabs and parries. So, that's this build is extremely good. You're gonna notice and it's really overpowered. I mean, if you manage to get a critical hit, that's it. <laughs> that's it, that's game over. So now let's move to the basics. In order to create this build, you want to pick up the Bandit as your starting class and the Master Key as your gift, as always. Now this build is going to be ready by level 16 and this, is gonna, uh, this will be done by leveling up your strength all the way to 26. That's because you're going to need 26 strength in order to use the large club with one hand. Um, that's all you're gonna need to level up in this build, you don't need to worry about other stuff. Now, uh, let's move to the equipment. Here we're using the large club plus 5 as our main weapon. You can see we have a very nice amount of raw physical attack with 180 plus 104 scaling, which is pretty good. Uh, it's a total of 284 physical attack and it also has 200 poison auxiliary effect, which is pretty good if you manage to hit the player uh, like 3 or 4 times, they get poison and that's it. Now, it worth noting that we chose this weapon because uh, the R2 has a quite unique uh, moveset and with the R2s you can actually catch players off guard very, very often. Now, it will also worth noting if you want a little bit more power, you can also use the Create Club, but in this case you're gonna need to level up your strength to 28 and you're gonna need to level up your endurance as well. So, bear in mind that you're gonna change a little bit the build if you want to use this weapon and the moveset is not so special for the Greek club and it don't have the poison auxiliary effect so I suggest just stick to the, the large club because the damage difference is not that big and it's quite unique now for the shield we're using the small ladder shield plus 5 which will offer uh, quite bad <laughs> damage reduction values and bad stability but we're just using this, uh, this shield because uh, it will provide us some, uh, some sort of parry we can parry with this shield pretty good, it's also extremely light, you can see it only weights uh, 0.5 uh, points of weight, so that's the only shield we can actually use uh, in this build without a, a heavy rolling. I mean you can use the dark hand but it's quite harder, considerably harder to get than the shield and it's, it's actually worse in terms of everything. So just to stick to the shield, it's pretty good for pairing and you will do just fine. Now for the equipment we're using the Mask of the Father which will increase our maximum equipment load by 5 points if I'm not wrong. And the Stone Armor which offers a very very good physical defense fails alongside with a very good poise. The Brigand Gauntlets plus 10 which will offer also a very good amount of physical defense and is starting equipment for the Bandit class. And the stone leggings, which will also offer very high physical defense alongside with some poise, which is very important. And now this build, you can see uh, all of the equipments we use in our available critter in the game. So it will not take too long for you to create this build. Possibly it will be ready within three hours of gameplay. That's counting the 99 humanities farm from rats. So it's pretty good if you don't want to waste a lot of your time creating builds. Now for the rings, we're using the Hornet Ring, which will increase the power of your critical attacks by 30%. Uh, critical attacks are basically parries and uh, backstabs. So bear in mind that most of your damage will come through those hits. So you're gonna basically be fishing for backstabs and parries. But if you don't get to it, the R2 of the large club is also pretty good and can catch players often uh, pretty easy. Now the other ring we're using is the Havel's Ring which will increase your maximum equipment load by 50%. That's a must-have because without this ring you're gonna be uh, heavy rolling and all the, equipment, uh, all the pieces of equipment we're using are ext extremely heavy. So we need this ring. You cannot use the Ring of Favor Protection because you're gonna still heavy roll. So just use the heavy ring and you're gonna do fine. Now, if you think the Hornet Ring is quite unfair, you can switch this for the Cloning Ring uh, to increase your uh, the speed of your stamina regeneration. 
Now it's all up to you. I suggest you stick to the Hornet Ring because there are very strong Twink builds uh, around there that will be invading you and it's gonna be a pain. So you need uh, you need uh, a way to do very large amounts of damage to them because they will be extremely tanky and that can, that can complicate things for you. Now for the multiplayer items, we're using the Path of the Dragon Covenant alongside with the Dragon Eyes, so players can summon us to their world for 1v1 fights, which is pretty, pretty good. I suggest you guys stick to this Covenant because it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good for PvP in this level range, and you, don't, you will not have any problems. You can also use the Dried Finger to lure Red Phantoms to your world to have 1v1 fights, or in some cases, that can get complicated as well, but it's all up to you. So that's pretty much it guys, let me show you guys the R2 that I was talking about. Uh, that's the jumping attack. The R2 is this attack right here. You can see, it takes a while to start the animation, but once it starts it's extremely fast. And it has a very large hitbox and it can catch players very often off guard. They will not expect for that. Uh, if you use R2 again, it hits a second time. But I suggest you just use it once. Otherwise, you're going to be a little bit uh, open for backstabs and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Now I'm going to show you guys a small compilation of PvP in the matches so you can actually witness the true power of this build right here. So thank you for watching, guys. And now, check this out.